Hey everybody, how's it going today? How's everybody doing? I have another quick little video that I am putting together this afternoon. I wanted to show you two things that we were in need of. So while I was out today, I found these two items and wanted to share them with you really quickly. This is a glass electric tea kettle. I've been eyeballing them for quite some time um, in my shopping cart for even longer and on Amazon. And while I was in the store today, I saw this one it was only like two or three they had. So I didn't even really look at the reviews. I didn't look at the reviews at all. I just looked at the aesthetics of the box and it looked cute. So I'm going to give it a try keep the receipt just in case if I don't like it back to the store it will go but how bad can a uh, electric tea kettle be you know this is good for the days where you want to have a cup of tea or um, bowl of hot oatmeal so yeah that's the need for that and we definitely was in need of a new toaster the one that we had was uh, I guess about two three years old but it was um it wasn't a great um uh, toast it was by black and decker and it just wasn't good so i'm going to try this one here it's a four slot wide slot yeah give it a try so these are two things that i've been wanting to purchase for quite some time so picked them up while i was out today and i am going to be repotting i make myself a little mix makeshift yeah a makeshift uh stool out of a case of water as well as a case of water and my pillow that i prop my uh leg up with when i'm laying down you know i have to elevate my knee so yeah i'm gonna have a little pot repotting party right now guys so i'm gonna be repotting my peace lily what did i do with my scissors my piece, Lily, and my, I can't say the name of this thing, Amaryllis. I think I showed it to you guys the other day. It's starting to bud already. But I'm looking at this. The seed is already, it's coming out of the soil. So yeah, she needed a new home quickly. But once it buds and open up, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm excited for that. And this is the name of it. A Marilis, a Maryless, something like that. But yeah, I thought I didn't think it was cute. The house did. I thought it is a cute plant, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't even looking to buy it. So somebody offered to buy it and I jumped on it. Then this is the one that I've been wanting for a minute. I bought my daughter one last year for Mother's Day, a peace lily. And I'm gonna just leave her name just as that peace lily. So I'm going to be repotting both of these girlies as I sit on my makeshift, okay, perfect, my makeshift seat. But let me first show you this soil. This is what I use for the other plants as well. This is, um, I got this from Home Depot. It's miracle Grow Performance Organic Soil. So yeah, two times more bounty, whatever that is. I don't know, but it looks good. You know, it looks good, organic, so they sold me on it. It's only about $9. No, I think about $8, $7, $7, dollars for this bag. So, again, I only have two to plant. I actually have some more up here on my counter that I um, took some stems off of another plant and uh, wanted to, I want to start another one, so, yeah. And I bought these two little, oh, keep that. Get up, old lady can't keep doing this. Two pots from Home Depot as well. $4.98. Just some plastic pots. Tan. They're cute. You know, serve the purpose. Serve the purpose for my new plants. Plant mom. Pet mom. We are venturing down the I'll take this plastic off later of being uh having some new new animals in the house as well so I made a video earlier on my um Osmo 
so I need to get that video together and put it out. But I will be introducing Miss Luna to you all. Miss Luna, we did a nice little shopping haul for Miss Luna today as well. All the necessities that are needed for the new addition to the family. So in that video, I, I have I was in, re, I introduced her to everyone. So uh, look for that video later on this evening. I will be posting that. There's no no uh, what do they call it editing because I don't know how to do that. So it's <laughs> stay tuned for the post because there is no editing. Just from the from the from the uh, film to the from the film to you guys, no extras. I still have not learned how to do that just yet. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I will have it together. I've already downloaded a couple of um, editing sites. And I'm not sure if they're good or all, but let me know. One of them is Pick, Pick Monkey. Another one is iMovie. And uh, I believe something else. I'm not sure. Man, look at all of these roots here. Can you see that? Look at that. This thing has been screaming for a new home. My gosh, Lily, what was Home Depot doing to this girl over there? I can't even break the uh, roots apart. Do I leave them? Now that's something I need to know. This is, this is all new to me also, guys. You know, I'm a new plant mom, you know, and this is definitely new. Do I just leave the roots like this? Because I can't even get them apart. Just leave them and put them in the soil? Somebody let me know. I'm just going to sit her in here and add some more soil to it. And if I hear somebody down in the comments below tell me that, I'm not even going to add any more soil to it just yet. If somebody can let me know, how do I break apart all of these roots let me get up and show you a little bit closer because my gosh look at these roots this is like forever they're, they're, they're tight they're tight so what do i do in a case like this how do you break the roots up without killing it damaging the plant please somebody let me know down below what do i need to do to loosen the roots of miss lily because i don't want to damage her but I want her to thrive. I want my girl to thrive here. You know, I'm adding to our plant family here as well. So I want everybody to be happy in their new homes. Let's see what this little Mary is doing. I can only imagine because it's already coming up out of the pot here. I'm almost scared to pull it out. <laughs> oh my God, look at the roots on this thing. These things are scary. They look like worms. And it looks like a beet. It looks like it's a beet. It's a bulb, a big bulb. You know what? I saw this in Giant, as a matter of fact, but the ones that Giant did not have um, the actual plant. It was a bulb in a box for sale. So this one here is uh, already blooming or growing or, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so this one, I think it's going to probably do well. I'm going to snuggle those roots down into the soil that it came in. And then I'm going to add some of this nice organic miracle Grow, And we're going to see old Mary grow, thrive up in here. Mary requires a lot of sunlight. So I'm going to try to find myself a nice uh, cart to go right here in front of this window here in the kitchen because it gets a lot of nice sunlight in, in the morning, in the daytime. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, I saw a couple of carts on um, Amazon, on Amazon. Man, I swear, Amazon is, they, I need to get some stock in that company because I give them so much business. I shop there for almost everything, so it's convenient though, you know, even though I'm out of the house every day, but I also, you know, have the luxury of them delivering to me here at home. Speaking of that, does anybody use Amazon Grocery? I have not tried it. I've always said I was going to give it a try just because, just to see what it was like, 
Um, they deliver here in my development often, you know, so a lot of people do use it, but I've never used it. I use my local grocery store giant like twice and another grocery store here called Safeway. So yeah, guys, look at Mary. Mary looks nice in her new home. I like it. I love it. She looking good. I'm going to give her a nice little water down. The soil is already nice and moist. But I'm going to give her a nice rinse down. And Lily, I'm not going to touch Lily until I hear from somebody down in the comments about what it is that I need to do to loosen up the roots. Because I'm not familiar with that one at all. I mean, I've had some plants when I repotted them, I had to, you know, wiggle and break them apart. But nothing like this. I've never seen it like this. So in my new little, not new, but my other, like these here. It has a nice root on it. So what I'm gonna do is switch it over to this little pot that Mary came in and it's glass. So that's really nice. So I'm gonna be doing that as we speak. But I'm running out of time. When I got up and showed you the plant, oh gosh, you know what? There's no hole in the bottom of that. I don't really know how to work with that one. I like to have options to Anyway, I'm going to close out here, guys, and uh, figure out what I'm going to do with my uh, piece of plant that I have here. So, this is the close of my video. It's kind of awkward. It's weird. I'm sitting here in the kitchen on a, a case of water talking to you. But, hey, it's life is such, you know. It's part of the way I live here. In a day to day so you just see another part of what i do on a day to day so it's friday it's 3 30 it's looking a little gray out i have the blinds closed now but it's a little gray out no more sun today for some reason but yeah guys i'm gonna close out here and uh pick up at a later time oh yeah later i'm gonna be putting together my christmas tree this evening so please come by and check out my video of our new housemate. Uh, well, you already saw it. Well, you'll be seeing this video. And um, then I'm going to be posting a video of uh, my Christmas tree. Putting up my new Christmas tree. Alright, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon here on Friday. Excuse me. My shirt is kind of on the rise. It's my hoodie got on a little two-piece little jimmy jammy here had on some oversized socks and some uh gray boots today my glasses and uh yeah so again i'm gonna close out on that note and i hope you guys again have a wonderful afternoon tgif thank you father god for another good day and until i pick up the camera again please be blessed and be well bye bye